So I am at the Wide World of Sports for Ryan and Dine, a 5K run. I got something on the ship, so I have the plague. Uh, I've never been here at opening. I got group two, so there's a huge line for bibs that I'm kind of just letting go through, and then I'm waiting for them to call merchandise because I think they're gonna call my group like while I'd be in line for the bib, so I'd rather do merchandise first and then get my bib and do all of that jazz, but tempting to vlog here, so let's go. something of a wellness icon so i absolutely make sure to dress the part Ooh, wellness icon all right well you must have some great advice any tips miss piggy for the athletes out there on the mm, course mm. well sure be sure to drink lots of water to maintain that healthy glow in front of all those wrist photographers remember we don't sweat we listen uh, uh, Piggy, uh, actually, I think that they, they should be sweating uh, because uh, not sweating during exercise is actually a sign of dehydration. So, folks, if you're not sweating at all, uh, please seek medical attention. Yeah, you guys know those are two very good points. It is also so important to hydrate. And what about etiquette out there on the course? Do you have any uh, etiquette advice for mm -hmm. us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course. Well, you always want to use your manners, so be sure to say please you to your fellow athletes for example if i was passing someone i'd say excuse them all would you please get out of my way Snowbook? thank you uh, i don't know about that but uh i do think that you're supposed to uh, raise your hand and uh, signal to other athletes that you're gonna slow down and maybe move to the edge of the course if you're walking. Great advice, Kermit. Well done. Hey, I think we've got some questions from folks uh, down there in the crowd. Chef! everybody! Hi, Chef. Thank you so much. I mean, you guys, Chef is here. Uh, what are you doing? What are you making down there? Very special making a cooking for the juggin. Oh, the cooking for the juggin. Okay, uh, it's a secret dish for the runners. I think that's what you meant. Could you give us uh, a hint? 
it. Nope. <laughs> no, come on. Nope. Okay, well, would you say it's a good pre-race meal? Nope. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Um, you're a chef. I'm a registered dietitian. So how about maybe you could say what is the most important nutritional advice you can give everyone for the race? My bib is on my shirt, so rather than finagle like my bib off, you're just, you can't even tell, it's super dark. Um, that was my combined wine and dine expo and 5K video. I'm sorry if it is crap. Um, I caught something on the ship, but last night while watching the finale of Agatha, I had like a fever, I was shivering. I was like, I don't, my alarm went off. I don't know how I'm going to get up at 3 a.m. or like 2.50, get in my car by 3.15 and go drive to Epcot and run a race. But it was Muppet themed, it was Swedish chef themed. And I am so happy that I did it because that was not time-wise, I did it in like 54, 55 minutes, it was like a 17 minute mile average, it was 53. Um, so more than that probably. Um, it wasn't like my best time wise, but the music that they were playing on the track was all Muppets, which was wonderful. And then they couldn't have the Muppets like on the course, but they had little videos like every mile or every half mile of like Muppets, like the Muppets saying stuff about the race. My favorite was Uncle Deadly going all this for a banana. And then he also said in like a later one, like, remember you signed up for this, you did this to yourself. I love that. Swedish Chef was at the entrance, like actual like Swedish Chef Muppet, and he was like telling people like when to go. He was at the start. I'm very happy that I rallied, but I'm going to go over eat some Starbucks to my house, shower, and then sleep for a couple hours because 
I think after like I crossed the finish line, the adrenaline just like left and like I just feel cold coming back and I feel like absolute trash. But I'm very happy that I was able to get into this race and that I was able to do it. Not my best time, I didn't run it, watch the entire dang thing, but it was so worth it. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. And you never know what kind of figment you may come up with. Oh, here's my favorite.